Did you know that about 25% of the world's population has fatty liver disease and may not even know it? At first glance, it may seem like a relatively harmless disease, but don't be fooled, it can get ugly and quickly turn into worse conditions like cirrhosis, leading to liver failure or cancer. Undoubtedly, the liver is one of our body's most important organs. It detoxifies the blood, produces necessary proteins for digestion, regulates blood composition, and much more. But this bile juice producing organ located on the right side of the body is prone to an illness known as fatty liver disease. What is fatty liver disease? This disease occurs when extra fat gets stored on top and surrounds the liver. Over time, this fat can affect how the liver functions and cause injuries. This condition can also cause inflammation in the liver, belly fat buildup, and high blood pressure. You can develop a fatty liver due to poor lifestyle choices or health conditions such as obesity, rapid weight loss, diabetes, high triglycerides, or alcohol abuse, the number one cause of fatty liver. Unfortunately, this disease is rather hard to diagnose since it doesn't show any symptoms until it's too late, or the symptoms have no direct indication of where the problem lies. There are two types of fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, and alcoholic fatty liver disease. As suggested by the name, one is driven by alcohol abuse and the other is due to various reasons, some still unknown to medical science. With that out of the way, let's jump into the first sign of fatty liver disease to watch for. Have abdominal pain or swelling? Okay, don't get worried just yet. Not all abdominal pains are because of fat accumulation in the liver, but it is one of the most prominently complained about symptoms in patients who've experienced it. Your abdomen is located between something called the thorax, otherwise known as the chest, and your pelvis. When you have abdominal pain, you'll feel a dull, constantly present discomfort in the upper right region of the abdomen where the liver would be. This also coincides with indigestion and other digestive issues that are a symptom of fatty liver disease. Don't ignore abdominal pain if other symptoms accompany it on this list, such as gaining a few extra pounds, are you gaining weight easily with no discernible cause behind it? It could be a sign to get your liver checked. Belly fat is highly related to fatty liver disease as fat deposited inside the liver spreads around and leads to the formation of what is called visceral fat. Visceral fat is harmful to your body as it's present around your internal organs and hinders their smooth functioning by causing constricted blood flow, which can further lead to heart problems, which you definitely don't want. If you don't notice weight gain, what about discomfort in other regions of your body? Pain in your right shoulder area is an indicator of fatty liver disease. Sounds off, but yeah, it's true. If you're experiencing tightness in your right shoulder region or pain in the neck, jaw, or between the shoulder blades, there's a high chance you have a fatty liver. As your liver has no inherent pain receptors, damage to it can cause pain in other areas of the body, like the neck and shoulder, especially on the right side, as is the location of the liver. This type of pain is called referred pain, i.e. pain caused by damage to a completely different part of the body. Pain can come and go, but the following symptoms seems to stick around. Are you constantly feeling fatigued? Even after sleeping an uninterrupted eight hours, if you feel a sense of weariness or exhaustion, you may ask yourself, how is this even possible? Well, studies have shown that those with fatty liver disease experience higher fatigue than average, sometimes to the point of hindering their everyday life. One of the most common symptoms reported by patients with fatty liver disease is daytime sleepiness. This is likely due to the liver being the center where the majority of the storage, release, and production of substrate energy takes place. Any damage caused to the liver will lead to low regulation of it. Loss of energy is usually accompanied by loss of appetite. When your liver becomes damaged by fat, it causes inadequacies in releasing hormones, which leads to a loss of appetite. Because the liver produces cholesterol that helps in digestion and hormonal release, the fat in the liver inhibits its natural functioning. With its processes out of whack, the fatty liver will produce higher levels of fats known as lipids, cholesterol, and triglycerides in the blood, leading to heart issues like a higher risk of heart attacks and strokes. The following symptom is another helpful indication of this condition. Watch for yellowing skin and eyes called jaundice. 
jaundice occurs when the liver can't filter out bilirubin, a waste product left out when red blood cells die, and it causes a yellowish hue in the whites of the eyes and skin. Jaundice is not a disease, but a condition caused by several underlying health issues. So, fatty liver disease alone isn't responsible for this condition. Still, if you're experiencing this symptom, it can signify that the fatty liver disease has accelerated and it's time to see a doctor. Have you ever heard of GERD? GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. This condition is when acid travels up from the stomach into the esophagus or the food pipe, creating a burning and irritating sensation and sometimes even damaging the throat. That may sound familiar as this condition is also known as heartburn. Studies suggest that people with fatty liver disease are at a higher risk of developing GERD, which is more common in those where the disease has advanced. This brings us to the next symptom, nausea. Nausea, like GERD, occurs when fatty liver disease has worsened. As the liver becomes unable to filter out many toxins and waste from the body, they get stored up and can be responsible for stomach sickness and persistent nausea. This symptom causes an uneasiness in your stomach that makes you feel the urge to vomit, although that's not always the case. Try eating ginger, having lemon water, practicing calm breathing, and avoiding strong smells to combat nausea. There should be cause for concern if nausea persists for more than two days. Dark colored urine. Sadly, you can expect a few darker shades in your pee if you have fatty liver disease. Your kidneys are responsible for removing unfiltered bilirubin from your blood through urine. As the liver cannot provide sufficient amounts of bile juice, your urine will be darker than average. This is another condition known as cholestasis. Cholestasis is another example of when fatty liver disease causes other illnesses. Because of the reduction of bile, the skin and whites of your eyes will appear yellow and begin to itch. Your stool will even become light-colored and start to smell worse. Next time you visit the toilet, be mindful of your urine color and odor. Did you know breast enlargement in men can be attributed to a fatty liver? Also known as gynecomastia, hormonal imbalances in men occur due to fatty liver. As the liver has difficulty functioning properly, hormonal changes can occur, leading to high estrogen levels in the blood. Because men produce little estrogen, the spike in this hormone will cause breast tissue growth. Also, with loss of appetite due to fatty liver, testosterone levels can drop significantly. It is unknown how serious this condition is. However, it's usually known to be non-cancerous. Now for our last sneaky symptom of fatty liver. Swollen body parts. This is a common symptom when facing liver disease, as blood is not being filtered correctly, which can build up fluid in the lower parts of the body. Swelling due to excess fluid in your body's tissues is called edema. It can affect any body part, but is more noticeable in your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Edema also inhibits the liver's ability to produce enough blood proteins known as albumin. Although this condition is prevalent in other circulatory diseases, it is not a severe illness but can be a sign of one. Watch for discomfort, painful swelling, stiffness, and difficulty walking. If left untreated, you put yourself at risk of skin ulcers and infections. Fatty liver can be such a common yet threatening disease. Who would have thought? But hey, want to keep learning about this disease? Like how to prevent it? Let's keep this conversation going. Watch foods you should eat and prevent a fatty liver, or poor sleep behavior raises risk for fatty liver disease. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about the liver. Do you have any symptoms on this list? Let us know in the comments below.